Welcome to Reality Scoop. Please hit that like button and notification bell. Clicking subscribe would be a great help too. It's free for you but means the world to us. Thank you. Now on with our video. Are you ready to embark on a journey that will tantalize your taste buds, ignite your culinary creativity, and awaken your senses to a world of vibrant flavors? Look no further, because you've just stepped into the aromatic realm of Spice Guys. At Spice Guys, we believe that every dish is an opportunity for culinary artistry. Our passion for exquisite flavors, coupled with the art of seasoning, has led us to curate a remarkable collection of handcrafted blends that will revolutionize your cooking experience. Whether you're a seasoned chef or a home cooking enthusiast, our premium spices are your ticket to transforming ordinary meals into extraordinary gastronomic adventures, so, come on in, spice enthusiast. The world of flavor awaits, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Dusk falls over Disney World Florida, casting long, ghastly shadows over a seemingly innocent attraction, Small World. This place, filled with cheer during the day, takes on a foreboding aura as night descends. The dolls, with their painted smiles and glassy eyes, stand frozen in place, a stark contrast to their usual lively dance. Their song, a cheerful melody echoing throughout the park during daylight, now lies silent, a haunting reminder of the day's jovial facade. Yet, as the sun dips below the horizon, those who know the true nature of Small World shudder. The attraction's facade of innocence fades, revealing a darker, more sinister side. The dolls, once charming and playful, transform into menacing figures under the moon's cold glow. Even their song takes on a chilling twist, its once joyful tune now a spine-chilling dirge. As the clock strikes twelve, the dolls awake from their slumber, hungry for the unsuspecting and innocent. Our protagonist, Ron, a daring thrill-seeker, finds himself drawn to the allure of the small world ride at the witching hour. The clock had just struck two in the morning, a time when the park was cloaked in an eerie silence, broken only by the soft lapping of water against the ride's boat. Ron, with his heart pounding in his chest and a thrill coursing through his veins, stepped into the boat, the only passenger on this midnight voyage. As the ride began, the familiar jingle of the small world attraction filled the air, a tune that had once been comforting, now seemed to have a sinister undertone. The boat glided through the water, passing the rows of dolls that lined the riverbanks. At first glance, everything seemed as it always did. The dolls were still, their painted smiles frozen in place, their eyes staring blankly into the distance. But as Ron delved deeper into the ride, he noticed something peculiar. The dolls, once immobile, began to move. Not in the mechanical, rehearsed movements of the daytime, but with an unnatural fluidity. Their eyes, once vacant, now seemed to follow him, tracking his every move. The background music, that incessant jingle, began to warp and distort. It was no longer a merry tune, but a chilling soundtrack that echoed in the cavernous ride, growing louder and more distorted with each passing second. It was as if the ride itself was alive, pulsating with an unseen energy that was both fascinating and terrifying. The air grew colder, the lights flickered, and the dolls, oh the dolls, they were no longer just dolls, they were something else, something menacing. Their smiles twisted into grotesque grins, their eyes glowed with an otherworldly light. They seemed to close in on him, their movements growing more frantic, more aggressive. A sense of dread washed over Ron. What started as a midnight thrill had turned into a nightmare. He was trapped in a world where innocence had been replaced by malevolence, where joy had turned into fear. He realized then that he had made a grave mistake. Little did Ron know this would be his last ride. The dolls, once mere objects of entertainment, transform into menacing creatures, their eyes glowing in the darkness. This isn't a child's play anymore. The dolls, once symbols of innocence and joy, become the embodiment of a nightmare. Their once welcoming smiles contort into grotesque grins, their small porcelain hands twitching with a sinister, unseen energy. No longer are they the cute companions of a delightful daytime ride, they now rule the night. Their song, once a simple melody resonating with joy and unity, now echoes through the eerie silence, growing louder and more distorted. The tune twists and turns, spiraling into a cacophony of terror that seems to seep into your very soul. It's a soundtrack to a terrifying spectacle, a lullaby of fear that leaves you paralyzed. The dolls come alive, their movements no longer restricted to the limited mechanics of their daytime performance. They sway and twirl, their dance a grotesque parody of their former selves. Their eyes, once glassy and lifeless, now glint with a terrifying gleam, 
a hunger that seems insatiable. Then, they descend. Like a swarm they overwhelm Ron, his cries for help are drowned by the terrifying melody that fills the air. His struggle, his fear, his desperation, all are swallowed by the horrifying spectacle. The dolls, relentless in their pursuit, seem to relish the terror they evoke. It's a horrifying climax, a scene straight out of your darkest nightmares. The once cherished dolls now reveal their true nature, a horrifying reality that is far removed from the idyllic world they represent in the light of day. And then as quickly as it began, it ends. The dolls, satiated, return to their places, their song returning to its normal cheery tune as if nothing happened. They resume their positions, their faces once again innocent, their movements once again limited. Their song returns to its original cheery tune, the horrifying events of the night seemingly forgotten, but the terrifying truth remains. The small world isn't as innocent as it seems. As dawn breaks, the small world attraction returns to its normal state, its eerie secret hidden once more. The first rays of the sun dance off the colorful facade, a sharp contrast to the macabre events of the night. The dolls resume their cheerful mechanical dance, their menacing stares replaced with painted smiles, and the earworm song, a siren's call in the night, now merely a catchy tune, echoing through the halls. On the surface everything seems as it should be, the doors open, and the first visitors of the day excitedly board the boats, oblivious to the chilling drama that unfolded just a few hours earlier. Children's laughter fills the air, their innocent joy a stark contrast to Ron's desperate cries that once echoed in these very walls. As the day progresses, hundreds of guests traverse the waterways of the small world. They marvel at the intricate details, the vibrant colors, and the lively music. Unbeknownst to them, they're sailing the same route where our unfortunate protagonist met his untimely end. And what of Ron, you ask? No trace remains of his midnight adventure? The dolls with their unblinking eyes and ravenous appetites leave no evidence behind. Ron's story, like so many before him, is swallowed by the small world, his screams now a mere whisper in the wind. As another day draws to a close at the happiest place on earth, the small world attraction prepares to reveal its dark side once more, the sun dips below the horizon and the cheerful facade gives way to an eerie stillness. The dolls, once again awake from their day-long slumber awaiting their next unsuspecting victim. So, let this tale serve as a warning. The small world attraction with its enchanting music and charming dolls is not as innocent as it seems. The next time you find yourself at Disney World, heed this cautionary tale. Remember, when the clock strikes 12 at the small world attraction, it's not only the dolls that come alive, but your worst nightmares as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, we at Reality Scoop enjoyed making it for you. Please give this video a thumbs up as this really does help us out a lot. Also if you like our content please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be made aware of our next upload, by subscribing to the channel it really does help us out, plus it's free for you to do. Thank you and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.